Cancer rates in millennials, Gen Xers have risen starkly in recent years, study finds. Experts have one prime suspect, Yahoo Life. Younger generations are being diagnosed with breast, pancreatic, liver and other cancers earlier at higher rates than previous generations, and are dying more often, new research warns. Below are your comments. This is anecdotal, but in the 13 years I have worked with cancer survivors there has been a rising N. Umber of young people being diagnosed with cancer. Particularly breast cancer. The youngest breast cancer survivor I have encountered was 20 years old, many are in their 30s. Most are not obese, la. See more. Another prime suspect. Microplastics and endocrine disrupting chemicals used in the plastics industry. These have also been implicated in both the rise in obesity rates and the rise in infertility rates. Dot. Main issue here is that most popal under 40 grew up in households where traditional sit down family meals stopped being commonplace. Fast food replaced what was once a balanced diet. Obesity is secondary to diet. It's likely the spike in multiple cancers is due to a terrible diet full of processed foods and sugar. R. Personally, I think it's all the poisonous preservatives they put in all our foods to make them last. Months instead of a week. I had to cut my sodium intake and so I look at sodium on everything now. When I went to Costco last year, virtually every packaged meal of every kind had almost 2000 mg of s. Odium per serving. I was shocked to see it was across the board on prepared, frozen, and even their rotisserie chicken. That is soaked in salt brine. One serving of a 500, 1000 calorie snack and I'm over my daily allowance, which is insane. We are allowing these food companies to poison us for their profit. The few things I can buy is vegetables, clean red meat and fruits. Fruits and vegetables often spoil within a day or two. Needless to say I have to start cooking whole meats and dried legumes and stiff to keep sodium intact. E down. Heck, even a can of chili has 2000 milligrams of sodium. I am not overweight at all but it has taken a toll on my cholesterol and triglycerides. It was able to reduce them to normal levels within 6 months. I've learned to use a little olive oil and vinegar on a lot of stuff to make it flavorful without saw. LT. I feel much better and I now know I'm extending my life considerably from the changes. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.